Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on IGCSE Maths. I'm very thankful to many of our subscribers and viewers who requested for the same and are taking keen interest in this particular series. Thanks for your contributions. Now, the major question which I have received from you is based on lower and upper bounds, especially how does it make difference about maximum and the minimum value when the calculations are involved. So I've taken up example here that should help us understand the whole concept. So the question here is, find the maximum value the following could have. Given correct to one decimal place, x equals to this and y equals to 2.5, right? So we are given the value of x and y correct to one decimal place, right? So we have to find what is the possible maximum value for these calculations involved, right? So this is a very general question. It should help you to understand most of the concepts, right? So what we will do here is working with these values, we know x is equal to 5.3, right? Now it is rounded to one decimal place. That means one divided by five is 0 0.05. So this number could have upper and lower bound of what? The lower bound for 5.3 could be 5.25, correct? And the upper bound will be 5.35. So that is the variation which X could have, right? So this is your uh, lower bound and uh, that is your upper bound, right? Now let's also do for Y, which is equal to 2.5. So for y, the values could be what? For y, the values could be, again, one decimal place. So if I add 0.5 to it, I get the upper bound 2.55 and the lower bound of 2.45, right? So that is the lower bound and this is the upper bound. So these are the values with which we can work to figure out the maximum possible value, correct? Now see. If the calculation involves addition of these two, how could I get the maximum? Well, to get the maximum, I have to take the maximum values, right? So I'll add the maximum values, which are 5.35, and to them I add 2.55, correct? And that will be our maximum value, right? So I'm going to use calculator for all these calculations. 5.35 plus 2.55 will give me 79 over 10 or 7.9. So 7.9 will be the maximum value. Does make sense. Right? If I would have added any other combination, I will get lower than this. So maximum is when I take both upper bounds, right? So we take upper bounds for both. Does make sense, right? Now think about this. You want difference to be maximum. So how do you get difference to be maximum? Well, clearly, this number should be taken as the upper bound and the other number should be taken as lower bound. Then only the difference will be maximum. Does it make sense to you, right? So, so that is what it is. So in calculations, you have to apply the logic. So here, for x, it is 5.35 and will take away the lower bound value, which is uh, 2.45, correct? That is going to give me the maximum of the difference, right? So it is 5.35 take away 2.45, and that gives you 2.9 as the value. Now, when you multiply and you want maximum, then you have to take both upper bounds, correct? So when you multiply and you want maximum, you have to take upper bounds, but when you divide, for the numerator, you should take the upper bound and for the denominator, you should take the lower bound. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to figure out what could be the maximum value. So you can actually now pause the video, calculate these answers. So here it will be 5.35 times 2.55. And in this case, it is going to be 5.35 divided by the lower limit of 2.45. Correct? So let's calculate these answers. So we have 5.35 times 2.55, which is equal to, let's write decimal equivalent, which is 
equal to 13.6425 and the other case is 5.35 divided by 2.45 which gives us we could also write in decimals right 107 over 49 perfect so that is how you are getting the maximum values now let's take a similar example but this time we will work with the minimum possible value okay so we have second example here and in this particular example we we'll look into the minimum values the question here is find the minimum value the following could have given correct to one decimal place x is equal to 6.4 and y equals to 2.6 okay so the process is going to be exactly same each number x for example is 6.4 we'll figure out what is the upper bound and the lower bound so to get the upper bound we have to add 0 0.05 so we get 6.45 and to get the lower bound we have to take away uh, 0 0.05 so we get 6.35 correct so that is what it is going to be for y the value is 2.6 and the two limits for the upper and the lower bounds are going to be 2.65 and 2.55 right so these are the two values so these are the values which are for us the lower bound values and the upper bound values is that clear to you now we need minimum value so if you need minimum value for addition what should you do well we should add their lower bound values correct if you need in subtraction minimum value then x we have to look for lower bound and for the y we have to look for the upper bound does it make sense to you when you multiply we should take both lower bounds for the minimum value and when you divide we have to take lower bound for the numerator and the upper bound for the denominator so that is the basic with which we are going to work and now let's figure out what the values are you can actually pause the video and get the values so let's add them up which is 6.35 plus 2.55 correct and let's use calculator so we have 6.35 plus 2.55 which is equal to 8.9 the next value here is the difference lower bound for x is 6.35 and we have to take upper bound for y which is 2.65 so we do 6.35 take away 2.65 which gives us 3.7 now we have to multiply the two values which are lower bounds we need minimum right so 6.35 times 2.55 so that is 6.35 times 2.55 is equal to well let's write like this 6477 over 400 right you could write in decimals or in fractions now in this case we are looking for lower bound of x which is 6.35 and the upper bound for y which is 2.65. So 6.35 divided by 2.65 gives you the value of 127 divided by 53 decimals it is approximately 2.39 right. So that gives you a 2.4. So that gives you the minimum value. So I hope with this exercise you get the basic concept of how to get the minimum value or the maximum value when we are working with rounded numbers and considering lower and upper bound. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.